come to Copeland and, then and uh, last week's by-election mm -hmm. and uh, the, the, the um, public opinion surveys show that more Labour supporters are dissatisfied with Jeremy Corbyn than satisfied with him. Right, so I just want to say there were two by-elections last week, believe it or not, and we won one. Yeah. Uh, and I yeah. want to congratulate Gareth Snell for, uh, for winning that by-election because he gets forgotten in all, of, in all of this. So it was really disappointing to have lost Copeland. I didn't go to Copeland because I suffer from car sickness and I heard the roads are really bad, but I did a lot of phone calls. That doesn't sound like could, a warrior and I could, for... And I, could, I, could, I, could, I don't think I'd be much good to them getting there and being all green and sick, so I thought, but... So I did never a, go I did by a car lot, any I did, distance, a, I did a lot of um, telephone, telephone... Well, you need to fix the, uh, the train system as well in Copeland, but that's another issue. Bicycles, um, bicycles. Uh, bicycles. <laughs> we bicycles. All right. I, I got the but, train to Cape London. So, the most uh, ingenious did, explanation I've had. I did, <laughs> I, did, uh, I did a lot of telephone canvassing, both in Copeland and Stoke. And what went Trent. wrong in Copeland? And there was lots of dissatisfaction. There was lots of stuff around uh, nuclear, and they didn't believe that the Labour Party wanted it as part of their mixed energy. So there was lots of and issues. Why, why is there was that? there was lots of issues in Copeland. No, it's true because of what Jeremy's position, you know, used to be, and people just and they made sure that the Tory Party put a lot of leaflets out saying this was Jeremy's position, even though it wasn't. So there were lots of issues, and it was disappointing, and we lost.